Hi guys, Julie Moon here. Um, I hope this video comes out better than my last one, like quality wise. Um, I don't know how I like this webcam or not, but I'll try it again. Uh, I gotta get used to it, I guess. Um, I just really like the ease of the flip. I can just takes really good quality um, video, but I'll keep up with the webcam a little bit more. If you see me looking down, sorry, just trying to see if hopefully this will be in better focus than my last video, and that seems so draggy. I uh, just felt like making another video, had a really quiet, laid-back kind of day today, um, wasn't feeling well at all today, so I really just laid low and uh, snuggled up with my pooch and watched the telly or the tube or TV, whatever you prefer to call it, um, and watched one of my favorite lesbian movies of all time, um, Imagine Me and You. Not a groundbreaking movie by any means total chick flick, but I just like it. Um, of course, there's not enough sex in it for me, but, you know, uh, I'll take what I can get. I just like the story. I don't know. It has a cheesy happy ending, and I'm a hopeless romantic, so I like it. Um, if any of you have seen it, comment. Tell me if you like it, or if you hate it, that's cool. You can comment on that, too. Uh, I watched that on Logo, and then I subscribed to the Here Network for, like, eight bucks a month, which is worth it. I haven't been watching it a lot lately, but I thought I'd see what they had on. I caught like the last half an hour of this movie called 29th and Gay. Um, and it looks really cute, and I'm going to see if they have it on their Here on Demand channel, because I'd like to watch the whole thing. But it's about this guy turning 30, and, you know, typical stuff as far as, you know, what do you do in your life, and where's your life going, and, you know, why haven't you achieved all the things that you've wanted to achieve so far, blah, blah, blah. So, it kind of got me thinking about a lot of things. I mean, this is something that we all deal with throughout our lives. You know, whether you're 18 or 25 or 30 or 40 or 50 or 60, um, when you have those times where you're more reflective on where your life is or if you have a major change in your life, it really uh, brings to mind, you know, okay, well, where do I go from here? Um, I'm a pretty introspective person, so I'm usually always thinking about that type of stuff, but uh, if you've seen my other blogs, you know, but if you haven't, um, I lost my mom in April of this year, and we were very close, so that's been a huge life-changing thing for me personally, and um, it's uh, it's been three months or so now, so I mean, I'm hanging in there, I'm surviving day to day, but... I, uh, so that's made me think about a lot of things, and, um, a lot, a lot of things. So I'm just trying to take it day by day and deal with all that. But watching this movie, even though I only saw, like, the end of it, it was, I don't know, made me think about a lot. I just wonder, like, I don't know, how, how we all get through it and, you know, how fast time goes by. And, I mean, my mom was only 62, and I'm 34. So you think, well, okay. What if I only live 28 more years? Um, and you think, oh, that's a long time, 28 years. But really it's not, because when you think, okay, okay, I'm 34 now, I think, well, where the hell have the past 34 years gone? I mean, sometimes it seems like it was a long time, but then other times you're like, wow, I can't believe I'm 34. Ah. Not that I think that that's old, but I'm just saying, you know, the time, the years go by. Um, I had a really nice day yesterday. I spent it with two of my best friends in the entire universe ever for all time. Olivia and Karen. Hi, girls. Uh, and we had a wonderful day, and they're the most comfortable people I know. I don't have to put on any pretenses with them. Not that I want to do that really anyway, but with these two people, um, I can be completely, completely myself. And uh, we had a great day. Hit like three local bookstores, and um, you know, had lunch together, and then end up having dinner together too. And it was a great day, and uh, one of those days that makes life worth hanging in there for. Um, definitely was the day that got me through this past week. I just kept thinking, okay, Saturday, Saturday. Anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. Um, well, not really. I don't know. Just thinking about what gets us through, what gets us through life, and you know what makes life worth living for. Um, and when you're at a point in your life where you're trying to decide, okay, well, 
I'm not entirely happy with where I am now. What do I do about that? Uh, lots of things. So I guess I'm feeling pensive tonight. And I just feel like making a video and just wanted to get also that yes, my ass is fat video on my main page. I mean, it's still fat. It's only one day later, so it is still fat. But I really don't care. And also, thank you for all the wonderful, supportive comments that I got on that video from any of my subscribers or anyone else that viewed it. Um, I do appreciate all the, you know, positive things that you said. And I honestly, my intention of putting that up there was not to be like, oh, poor me, I'm fat, blah, 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 or wah, wah, pretty fat people. It was more like something, a positive thing for me to do because usually I just take that stuff and just absorb it or whatever or you're supposed to let it roll off your back but I don't always do that and it was more about a little exercise for me to stick up for myself which I have a hard time doing that was really my main motivation in doing it I could give a crap what you know this this YouTube user said about my ass I mean who cares um, it was more about for me to do it for me so thank you for indulging me and also for watching and your support um, Thanks to any of my new subscribers, too, and anyone else who's watching this. I hope everybody had a great weekend and uh, that you have a good week in store. Um, I've gotten messages from some people that I owe replies back, so bear with me. I'll be catching up on those. I just was totally, uh today. I had a wicked headache, and when I have a bad headache like that, I can't function. So, um, yeah. I'm going to have to cut this short because I got a phone call, so... Bye.